Hello, I'm Mark Rahner. Today's subject, bacon. Bacon. With Elvis out of the way for some time now, I didn't think there was anyone who loved bacon more than I do. Bacon. There are exceptions, but that doesn't make my life any less empty. I get that bacon. A friend of mine at work gave me these bacon mints. Another friend gave me a bacon cookie, see? But lately the stuff's been everywhere, and even in configurations that give me pause. Is this all too much of a good thing? What if you liked, say, baseball cards? And they were savory and delicious and... Well, forget it, you get the idea. Which brings us to bacon -aise. It's a relatively new product made by the Seattle guys who brought us bacon salt and whose stated mission is to make everything taste like bacon. Well, their plan for world domination, Baconation, may have hit a snag when Jon Stewart tasted some recently on The Daily Show. You like my high-tech video capture? Anyhow, as celebrity endorsements go, I guess it could have been worse if he actually died. Could it be that bad? Let's see what's in this stuff. Soybean oil, water, egg yolk, some stuff I can't pronounce. But there's no bacon in bacon -aise. I think it's time to confront these people. All right, now looking through the ingredients on your bacon products, I see there's no bacon in them. You're like the freecreditreport.com people of pork. It's not free, and you don't use any bacon. What's the deal? Um, we make delicious vegetarian and kosher bacon products. We went double ridiculous on that one. Um, it, was, it, it was an accident, though. I have, yeah. to, I have to admit, this is a total accident. And, you know, this is a, probably the first time that we've ever admitted this. It's, it's, we wanted to make something that tasted like bacon, and we accidentally made something that was vegetarian and kosher. Um, there's a lot of complicated reasons about food science that I won't go into that makes it harder to put something with real bacon on the shelf, but um, you know, we were just going for delicious, and that's, that's what we did. That's my theory. No, it's no exaggeration to say that you two are obsessed with bacon. Where did this come from? I think from? I've been obsessed with bacon since I got uh, ready to eat on my own. It's been a long time coming. Um, Bacon is just one of those things that you're drawn to it. You love it or you hate it. There's no middle ground for bacon. It goes on everything or it goes on nothing. And uh, I feel that bacon should go on everything. Bacon, I grew up in Chicago, man. I, Chicagoans, uh, anybody who's lived in Chicago for any amount of time knows that it's a pork-obsessed area. Uh, so bacon was breakfast, bacon was lunch, bacon was dinner. I love bacon. I still love it. Let me go down a list of items and you tell me if they should or shouldn't ever be bacon, okay? I'm gonna stop you right there, should. <laughs> I'm in the driver's seat here, <laughs> okay? All right, all right. Deodorant. Should. Absolutely. Bottled water. Should. Possible. Ben Gay, Ben Gaken. Should. You're on the fence. Uh, yeah, gotta, gotta, wow. That's should. It, it fixes mean, my aches no, and pains. Listen, listen, what is gonna make you happier Smelling, do you know how bad Ben Gay smells? No, 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 smell like something comforting. Bacon, like bacon. icy hot. I'm like, smell I'm something icy, bacon. I'm hot, I'm you're, bacon. You're feeling better. Things are smelling better. Things are going to get better sure. if you've got Ben ba Gay. Well, Water. I could see the direction this was going. Bacon. Should already be bacon. Vicks bacon rub. Bacon. In. That's not even a question. Yeah. Pedialyte for babies. Bacon. Get them started young. Yeah, yeah. Start them young. Q-tips. So there was only one thing left to do, like try this stuff. All right, this will be the first time I've actually tasted this stuff. So if anything happens to me, I want this to be a document of my final words. I've got some real bacon here. Scientists call that a control. Let's give it a shot. Let's get the bouquet, liquid meat, and a little taste. Yeah, it's not bad. Now, is this sick? Yes, but give me an idea. Are you getting this camera guy? BLT, bacon A's, lettuce, and tomato. All right, I didn't have any actual lettuce in the house, so this is arugula, but if it's good enough for our president. Anyway, you don't need to be working at a newspaper to know that the economy's circling the drain. Who can afford actual bacon anymore? Maybe these guys were ahead of the curve, which gives me Another idea. Tunaise. Regular and mercury free. Back up the money truck.